All right, this starts our absolute value unit. And so we're going to first start with absolute value, what is it, and how to solve equations. So remember, our absolute value is like a washing machine. How is it like a washing machine? Well, it doesn't matter if you put in dirty or clean clothes into your washing machine, the clothes will come out clean. Okay, so this is our absolute value symbol, remember right here. So that means it doesn't matter what you're putting in to our washing machine, whether it is a positive number or a negative number, you're gonna get a positive number. No matter what goes in, what comes out is our positive numbers. So we remember that. Let's look at the steps on how to solve these absolute value equations. And I'm going to run through the steps while running through example B. So we want to first get our absolute value, absolute value expression by itself. So that whole thing, every single thing inside our absolute value bracket by itself. So if we look at B, it's not by itself. It's got an added three to the outside of it. So let's get rid of that added three by doing the opposite, subtracting three from both sides. So then we have absolute value of five X plus five equals eight minus three is five. All right, second step. We want to create two cases, one positive and one negative. So that ain't an So two cases here. So I'm going to take my 5x plus 5 equals, so one positive and 5x plus 5, one negative. Now I'm going to solve both. So 5x plus 5 equals 5. So subtract 5 from both sides. 5x equals 5 minus 5 is 0. Now I need to divide both sides by 5. x equals. OK, I want you to write this somewhere, and I need you to keep it forever. OK. So there's this special thing about when we're dividing and there's some zeros in there. So if we've got zero on top of a number, this is okay. We can do this and the answer is zero. We've got a number on top of zero. We cannot do this. This is not possible. So we generally say no solution. So in our example, back to our example, keep this somewhere though. Keep this somewhere. Keep it forever. Our zero is on top, so it's okay, and it equals zero. So one of our solutions, x equals zero, solve this other one, minus five on both sides. Oh my goodness, my marker's driving me crazy today. Five X equals negative 10 divided by five. X equals negative two. So our other solution is negative two. So it's possible here to get two solutions. Okay, so let's do this again. 
Step one, expression by itself. On example A, the expression is already by itself. So we can move on to step two, setting them both up, one positive and one negative. And then you solve, oh my goodness, x minus five equals negative three. Solve by putting the five on both sides. So add five, add five, x equals eight. Add five, add five, x equals two. So my solution set is two, oh geez, eight. All right. I do have more examples, a couple more examples. Um, I'm just going to go through example C, and then if you want to do example D and E on your own, and when you, if you have questions on those, um, you'll let me, you can let me know. I'll put the answers here um, on the video, but I'm not going to run through them in it, their entirety. Okay. We have to get the absolute value expression by itself. C, it's not by itself because of this little three right here. So it's being multiplied by that absolute value. So I need to do the opposite and divide by three. So we've got absolute value of two X plus seven equals negative 13. Now it's by itself and I go through the same steps. Ooh, no. Same steps. Give me my pen back, hold on. Technical difficulties, what's new? 2x plus seven equals negative 13. 2x plus seven equals negative 13. By now we should know how to solve for x. If you're still struggling solving for x, then you need to make a Zoom call with me so we can clarify any problems we are still having at this point. So x equals negative 10 and three. All right, so like I said, let me put these answers up here so that you have them, the solution here. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and do D. So we need to get it by itself. It's being multiplied. So again, same thing, we're going to divide. So then we have 3x plus 4 equals, remember the zero is on top, so it's okay. It equals zero. Now, when I'm splitting this one out, we've got 3x plus 4 equals 0. Well, there's not really a negative of 0. 0 is just 0. It's not negative or positive. So there's nothing to do here. We just solve it once. So there's going, oh my goodness. Ah, sorry, guys. There we go. Hold on, hold on. So there is only going to be one solution, which is x equals negative four thirds. All right, this other one, x is going to equal negative 14 and negative four. All right, let me know when you are working through those problems if you have any questions.